Hello and welcome to Journeysoft. I'm now going to be showing you a video of JMS doors and frames. As you can see in front of us we have a typical door. This is a back door I've been doing and it's within a frame. If we just have a quick look around on this page you can see how many minutes it's going to take from doing the woodwork, the glazing and the ironmongery total of 12 hours and 40 minutes and then we have our costs it's already worked out for doing your timber work your glazing and again the cost for your ironmongery and the total labour cost so there's a price there of £1,114 you can also see that it's got a U value calculated at 1.8 and it's CE marked now if we we're going to have a little bit deeper look in this if I just now go right click go item property and you can see some defaults I'd already set up or what parameter file I was using what glass what timber type etc we've also got some questions here for the width and height do you want this to just apply to the door or do you need this to also apply to the frame and then also here we have the size of the width and the height and the quantity so I'm happy with those if I go OK and if I'm also now happy with that item, I can go OK again. Do I want to save my changes? I can go yes. So I've now got one item in my job. If we're now going to go and have a look at some other doors, because we've got to design another door, we just click on the Add Door and Frame. And you can see here there's a selection of different folders with different doors in each one. So here is a selection. And in these folders, all the ones labelled with JMS, they are, <coughs> sorry, they are actually... Uh, templates, design templates already in the software that you can use and adapt and change. So there's some doors there, so some single doors, double doors, uh, bifold, this is just a leaf, so it's just one single door. And then we have frame ledge and brace and cottage doors, some of them with vision panels. And then we have a selection of flush doors either with uh, solid cores or with uh, a core that you build up and manufacture yourself. And then we also have uh, some kitchen doors, if that's what you also would like to do. And I've got your company door collection, which at the moment is empty. Well, I'm going to go back to doors. I'm going to grab the nearest door to the one I want to manufacture, which is this one. So I'm going to say it's going to be the uh, back door. Oh, I mean, I'm doing this wrong myself now. So, I'm, so it's D2, and I'm going to call it the uh, side door. And then I've got the uh, sizes here. So apply to the door or the frame. I'm going to go to the frame. I'm going to say uh, 920. And yeah, I'm happy with the height of 1981, quantity 1. So I go OK. So I've got my standard, which I just grabbed from my template door design. I can now click on my lock rail, go set lock rail height. It has a default that I've set in a system of 900, but I just want to change that now to 870. I can go OK. Now wherever I put my mouse is where I've got power. So if I just click underneath a lock rail, I can go right click, insert item, Muntin 1. I can now click in this next hole, I can go right click, I want to put a rail in now, so I go for one rail, and now again I just put my mouse in the hole, click, material, I'm going to go panel, and again I'm going to go material, panel, and for down here, in the future they might want to put a cat flap in etc, so I'm just going to put a piece of plywood in there for now. In the top, again I go right click, Insert bars, rails or lines, I'm going to go glazing bars and I'd like to put two horizontal and in the top gap here I want to go right click, insert glazing bars and my customer just requires one. Now if I come back down to the panels at the bottom here you can see it's showing the glue joints and the fielding width. Sometimes that's a bit confusing for the customer so you can just click on it if I wanted to, I can reduce the fielding width and I can also hide glue joints. 
Now if I go back to the top parts, I can now put in some glass, material, glass, and I've got a selection here. So I'm going 416 for double glazed, just holding the F2 key and moving the mouse. Now that's the door that's required by my customer. I can now right click, go quick menu, and I would like to have a frame. So I've got some default frames in there. Now if you look at the top of the joint here, you can see that where the rebate is, and this door is opening out. Just by putting my mouse on the door, if I look at the left hand side under sub items, it says door, left hung, opens out. And it's also telling me my lock rail height, and the overall width and the height of the door itself. So now if I wanted to, I could go right click, and I could go hang, and I could say I want it on the right hand side. And also I can come here and go right click, and I could go to open, and I can open it in. And again, if you look at the rebate at the top, and I can go there, and on the horn you can't see the rate because the door is now on the other side. If we look on the left, it says it's now opens in and it's right hung. Well, I'm going to open it back out again. Now, if I really like this door, local pet shops really promoting it because it's got a, a cat flap and it's nice and solid. I can say, well, I don't want to keep on designing this door every time I need to do one. So I can actually save it now as a design. So if I go File, Save as Template, I'm going to call it and drop it into this folder here, Your Company Door Collection, which you can see has got nothing in here. And I can put Cat Special Door. And if I go Save... I can now go OK. Do you want to save the changes you have made? Yes. And it's now in my job. So in my job, you can see I've got two doors. I've got the hours. But I might just want to just do a bit, some work on another door. So I just go Add Doors. I can go down to your door, company door collection. And you can see that our special door has been saved. I might just want to grab it again. And say, actually, I don't want it 920. I only require it to be 900. And I do require it to be 1990 high. So I can go OK. This time I might not require the sill. So I can just click on the sill. I can say usage no. OK. Also, I can come down here because also I don't want the threshold. So I can say no to that. And go OK. It might also be that... In fact, the cat only needs one entrance in in the future. So we're just going to go remove bars, rails and lines, yes. And just put a standard panel back. It might also be that this time we actually require the door to be hung on the left. Well, I hope that's been a good insight briefly into doors. It gives you understanding of what you can do. If you'd like to have any more questions or you'd like to have a demonstration of our software, please give us a call at JourneySoft or contact us via our website www.journeysoft.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.